So hi everyone, this is Jessica from the Achievement Squad coming at you with a guide for the chant and we're going to show you in this guide the location of all 71 collectibles as well as some of the missable achievements on along the way. There's a grand total of 61 lore to find as well as 10 film reels to find on top of that. Finding the film reels and getting the lore will unlock a couple of achievements along the way for you. And there's a few missable achievements throughout the game, such as the hidden canker toad, solving the alchemy puzzle, and crossing over the rafters in the one of the chapters later on. Now it's worth noting that the first collectible is actually automatically picked up, and you'll get that when you go to the post box. Uh, and there's a small spoiler warning in effect from this point onwards. Your first collectible will become available to you once you reach the present day and you are at the campsite for the first time. So here we are, we're over with Maya and we're supposed to be engaging with her and her house is just beside the glass dome. You'll see this as you come into the main area, it's pretty much unmissable and you'll walk into this cabin as you will need to speak to Maya to progress the game forward. So make your way in and on the left hand side you'll grab the first note from here. Okay, and then our first film reel of the game is with Sonny. We're going to have to go talk to him to pick it up. So exit out of Maya's apartment, and we're going to go past the dome and stick to the right-hand side. And as you come into this little campsite area, you want to keep going to the right, and there's going to be a slope that you can go up, or some stairs, sort of. Uh, make your way in and talk to Sonny, and he is going to give you his first film reel. This is the only reel that is given to you by a character in the game. Jess, right? You probably heard about the Spirit Ember Festival I started. It was going to ignite change. But my dad, brother, <laughs> pulled the plug and let everyone down. Check these out. Tyler and I are going to take my ideas and transform this island into something glorious. A true spiritual paradise. <laughs> Amazing, right? It's a good idea, but maybe it's a little too commercial. It's worth it to invest in your spirit. And if there is money to be made, my family will see it through. Just go watch my orientation video to learn all about it. It's near Tyler's dome. Okay, once that is done, look to the right of Sunny and you are going to see law number two. You could be able to pick that one up just off of the desk on the side over here by the lockers. Once you've got that one, we are going to move on to law item number four. And I am back outside by the dome. This time at this round, we're going to go to the left hand side of the dome. And there is a bridge just here. You'll want to make your way over this bridge and you're going to come up on a house on your left hand side. Instead of going inside, go around the building and to the back and then you're going to open up a cupboard and inside you're going to find the next collectible. Then not too far away from this collectible, we're going to make our way inside the building. So from this point onwards, I've already opened up the door, it's not locked. But just to your right, make your way in and the collectible is on the desk just here. And that is all collectibles for chapter one. Okay, so we are now in chapter two, and eventually, as part of the natural progression, you'll need to go through this door. So go in through the door, and you're gonna pop open this cupboard just here, and we're gonna find a law just on the inside. That is six collectibles out of 71 so far. Then from this collectible, you're gonna progress significantly further, and you're gonna encounter some rather religious looking guy. And just behind him, you're going to find your next piece of law. And after a little bit more progression, you're going to be in the middle of solving a fuse box orientated puzzle and you'll enter this room just here. On the bookshelf at the back, you are going to find the next piece of lore. And then from that piece of lore, you want to turn around and we're going to look at the cabinet just on the side here beneath the projector. And you're going to find your next reel. Okay, so once you are clear of your fuse puzzle and you reach the situation with your friend crying in the window, you want to take a right and we're going to go over to the double doors just here. 
enter this building and we're going to make our way over to the cupboard at the back above uh, another set of cupboards and you're going to find your next piece of lore in here. And now we're going to go after our next piece. So from the same location, we want to backtrack out of the building. And you'll need to go to this area as part of the story progression anyway. Take a right and a right again. And we want to go up to the very top of the ladder. And at the top of the ladder, there will be a letter or a note just in front of you next to the prism or the green diamond thing and then from here look to your right and you're going to see a locked cabinet and inside that locked cabinet you are going to find your next projector reel. So the next collector was going to be in chapter 3 after some big progression you're going to be following a gentleman by the name of Sonny and he's going to be on the other side of the river. You'll eventually have to come to this cabin regardless of whatever you go so you want to follow this up, make your way on the inside and as you come inside, just straight ahead of you on the desk is your next collectible. And then from that collectible in exactly the same room, we're going to grab our next reel, which is just by the white screen just here. Now moving a little bit further on, you're going to eventually come through this area where you're going to see this barred door and you're going to have passed the orange gloom kind of environment here and you're going to see a note just under this kind of little shed like area and it's going to teach you how to make the uh, the fire thorned branch weapon and then just after that you'll drop down and you'll have killed two of the goat cultists so this is to the left of the last collectible open up the door make your way in and open up the cabinet in the back corner of the room and you're going to find your next projector reel and then from the same projector reel, look to your left and on the picnic bench, you're going to find another piece of lore. And then from your picnic bench, we are going to go after collectible number 18. And that is in the room just to the right of us. Quite obvious this one. As you walk in straight ahead of you on the table, pick that up. So next up. The area we're going to go into is going to be after we've unlocked this padlocked door. Apologies for the quick cut because I was getting heckled by a bee person. And on your left hand side you're going to find the collectible on the table. After some big progression forward, Sonny is going to have locked himself inside a cabin. There's this cabin just here. He would have run into there and you won't be able to get him out. From here take a right and enter the building on the right hand side. And as you look to your... Uh, left you're going to see a cabinet open that one up and the collectible is on the inside now just outside the building that you just entered on the left hand side you're going to find this place with a large windmill you'll want to enter the house that is next to the windmill and then as you enter here on the right hand side by the bunk beds you are going to find another piece of law and now we are going to go after your next projector reel. So from that piece of lore, we want to back up a little bit, go through the door just here and on the left hand side, open up the cabinet in the corner and we have a, another projector reel. That is the projector reel number six. Eventually you hit this point where you're chasing Sunny and you've gone down in the lift into the bottom of the mine area. From that lift, you want to turn around and next to the locker on the left hand side is your next piece of lore. And as you're going through the mine, you'll have been chasing Sunny even further. You'll eventually reach this bit where you squeeze through a gap to get out of the gloom. And on your left hand side, there is a collectible on the workbench. And now after a bit more progression, I say a bit more, quite a lot more progression, you're going to be back outside and you're going to be by this kind of area where there's the yellow gloom. You can now enter this. So once you enter, you want to go into the building at the back just here and you want to open it up. Continue straight through to the other side and as you come out here take a left and you want to enter this room just here You'll have to come here as part of the story anyway, uh, and on the right You're going to find your next collectible on the bedside table Now before you pick up the next one you will need to clear out the area We'll see the next few but from the same location and I've already done the enemy cleaning up in advance uh, but from here you want to exit out the window take a right and go back into the room and this room on the left will now be open as you come in there is a collectible that is on the desk just here and then just to the right of this collectible you will also find 
another collectible. How awesome. Okay, and now from that collectible, we are going to go into a room that we were previously not able to access again. So exit out of this building. And as you exit out, there is a gate that is already open on your left-hand side. We're going to go past the windmill that we were by earlier. Take a left and past the sunny room building. You want to take a right when you come here. And this is the area where you would have entered. And we're going to go into this building. It is enemy filled in the beginning, so you'll need to clear them out. You want to grab the collectible off the left hand side. Now once you are free of the mine area, we're going to come up onto something called a gloom portal. The game's going to prompt you on the screen about it, but at this time we're going to ignore it. It's the big yellow thing on your left. We're actually going to go after a missable achievement, so make your way over to the hut just here. and We're going to go on in and we want to navigate to the other side. So we're actually going to go about killing the hidden canker toad. Uh, and that is kind of like a mini boss that is hidden in the game. So exit out of the building and we're going to squeeze between the gap right here between that and the waterfall. We want to make our way around the back of the waterfall in classic hidden collectible fashion. There is some stuff behind the waterfall. Make your way up the hill and we're going to beat the canker toad that is just in this cave. Something's My achievement doesn't here. pop on screen, it pops offline. However, once you defeat this guy, you will bag yourself the yeah. achievement. And once you've defeated him, on the back bench next to this weird thing, you're going to find your next piece of lore. Okay, so the next collectible is in Chapter 4. After some big story progression, you'll be following Maya to this path, and you're going to reach this split in the road. You'll want to take a left, and this is a bit of an enemy-ridden area, so apply some caution. You're going to go through the gate just here, and we're going to take a left and we're going to squeeze under this gap just here. As you come into this room, you want to make your way to the right and climb out the window. And as you climb out the window, you want to stay on the right hand side of this path. Don't go too far forward, but on your right, you're going to find your next collectible under a bush just here. This was the last one I found in the game, so my achievement pops at this point in time. Free roam is an option once you reach chapter 6, by the way. Uh, you just don't initiate the fight to go to the end of the game so as you can see I bag my achievement here and that's picking up all 62 notes and then much further on you'll eventually kind of reach this area here which you can't really avoid you'll come here as part of the story as you come up to the star signs sorry the signs just here you want to duck under the log on the left hand side as you make your way forward you're going to take a right don't go into the gloom just yet and as you come to the back of this area, there is going to be a couple of tents. And by the tent is your next document. Okay, and then eventually you're going to be trying to open up this door with this impression. From here, just backtrack a little bit. We're going to go up the hill and we're going to walk into the gloom. And as we come into the gloom section, we just want to walk straight forward. And directly ahead of us, there is a hut. We want to go into that hut and on what is left of that hut it's a broken cabin there is going to be a note next to the sleeping bag okay so the next collectibles start when we actually get to the base of the lighthouse you'll be by the funky looking door that seems to have everybody cordoned off make your way through that door and the opportunity you get to turn left we're going to do that uh, and you're going to see this light crystal style thing directly in front of you Make your way into this area and on the right hand side as you walk into the shed, there is a piece of lore. Now after a little bit more progression, you're going to kind of come up on this place with a little bit of the metal sheets that you'll need to squeeze through to get to the lighthouse. We just want to pop through here and we are going to make our way towards the lighthouse but we're not going to go in just yet. Take a left and we want to stick to the right hand side. As you go down the right hand side, the shed is in front of you. We want to make our way into that shed and we want to pick up the contents of the locker that is in front of us, which is our next reel. After that reel, we're going to head over to the lighthouse and we're actually going to go in. There are two collectibles in this bottom area. There is one on the desk directly ahead of you and then there is another on the desk to your right.
and then from that collectible we are going to go up the lighthouse now be sure to pick up everything in the lighthouse because you can miss it if you progress too far uh, and then you'll have to chat to select back later and come in and redo the entire section make your way up the stairwell inside the lighthouse as you get to the top you are going to see straight in front of you the collectible and after a little bit more story progression and some discussions with Maya you're going to be at the top of the lighthouse and stuck to the wall is going to be our next piece of lore. Okay, so we are now going to be on a mission to get the lighthouse functional. So we want to exit out of the lighthouse. And we're going to stick to the left hand side and we're going to go up the slope just here. You can grab this collectible a little bit later on if you want to. Uh, but I got excited and decided to get it straight away. As you come up here, there's a house that you can enter on the left hand side. Enter the door that is immediately on your left and straight in front of you on the table is your next collectible. Now we're going to exit out of this building and we are going to go a little bit further, kind of down into the area. And we're going to go after our next item. So from here you can actually drop down by the crystal lamp like thing. Uh, and if you've been progressing forward with the story, you will eventually have picked up a key, uh, which is in one of the sheds outside of the lighthouse. Make your way to the right, and you're going to see this locked door just here. You're going to want to open that one up, and directly in front of you is your next piece of lore. And in the same room, we are going to go straight after the next collectible, which is on the other side of this desk, and it is in a locker. So make your way around and it is just on the shelf here. Okay, so we're going to be working on the light redirection puzzle now after we've got the uh, lighthouse in full function. So you've just retargeted this beam. Now this is going to make the area a little bit more accessible. Uh, so you want to drop down from that crystal. And it's the first crystal that you have to move to progress forward. We are kind of going to be following the puzzle and getting the collectibles at the same time. We're going to make our way down into the area with the green gas and we're going to continue and follow it around. We want to open up the door that is on the right hand side just here and we want to make our way to the right and we're going to find our next piece of lore. So the next collectible is much further into the puzzle so after you've done a bit more redirection you're going to be up on this roof bit just here and you have pointed a beam down into the house uh, that is at the bottom. So we want to climb down this particular part You'd have had to climb up a ladder to get here, uh, but as you make your way down, uh, you're going to go towards the house where you've just pointed the beam into. You won't be able to get through the windows, so you're going to make your way around to the side, and you'll want to go in, um, I think, through the hole, but it doesn't really matter. You can crouch underneath the hanging carcasses, and then to the left of the carcasses, you're going to find your next piece of floor. And then a little bit further on, we will have actually just pointed the beam to the beam on the roof. Uh, and we're going to enter the house just here, which is full of green gloom. Enter the door on the left and on the dining table, you're going to find your next reel. And then from that reel, and you can actually kill the enemies in this area, but I'm going to take a left, go into the bathroom and duck through the gap. And as you come into this room, directly in front of you is your next piece of lore in the cupboard. And then from this previous collectible, we are going to backtrack out and we're going to go towards the ladder that gets us onto the roof. So we want to exit out and this is the same area where we picked up the reel off the table. But enter the bedrooms on the left and just between the bunk beds at the end, you're going to find your next collectible. And now we're going to kind of regroup just after we have done the beam pointing and we're on the roof of that building. You can knock the ladder down that is on the right hand side. There is also a key in that house you'll need to find to get to this collectible. It's in the bathroom, by the way. Uh, enter the building, take a right and open up the green door that is in front of us. And as you come in on the table is your next collectible. And after a little bit more progression through the puzzle, you're going to be in a situation where you've just pointed the light at the uh, lighthouse. but. From here, we're going to make our way down into this kind of little garage area. You will need to defeat the Mandicore to get rid of the green gloom and the enemies to pick this collectible up. Uh, because 
the collectible is actually directly underneath the enemy. So pick that one up and we are now going to regroup back in chapter 5 in the main camp area. Okay, so we're going to just be behind the leader's tent and we're going to make our way around to his cooking equipment, which has uh, got a collectible just to the right hand side of it. And then from that cooking equipment, we want to make our way inside. Uh, and just directly in front of us next to the microwave, you're going to find that next collectible. I'm intrigued by the fact that they have microwaves uh, in this game based on the type of people and characters that they are. Uh, and then from that last collectible, we want to make our way into the next room where there is a laptop. Uh, and just by that laptop is going to be the piece of law. And now after a little bit of story progression, we are going to be chased down by an enemy that is invincible. Uh, we would have just entered through this bit just here. As you come in on the right hand side, you'll see a picture and next to the picture is the next piece of law. We're on collectible number 52, by the way. Uh, and then from that piece of law, we want to turn around and across the opposite side of the tent is another piece of law. And we're also gonna grab a projector reel at the same time. So from that collectible, just on your right hand side, you're going to see a projector reel that is up on a stand just in the center. And that is projector reel number nine. Okay, and then from that projector reel, we are gonna exit out of the tent as part of the main path that we need to take to go forward. So exit out and we wanna follow it to the left and we're going to go down a hill and we're going to come across a building and we're going to want to enter inside that building so once you're inside you want to take a left hop through the window and then on the right when you want to make your way forward you're going to find your collectible in just a locker here Okay, so eventually you and Hannah are going to make it to the greenhouse and we are going to go after our next collectible. So exit out the greenhouse on the right hand side and we want to make our way around and we are going to go into this little gap just here. So squeeze on through, take a left and open up the cabinet on the end and we're going to find our next piece of law. And our next piece of law is actually given to us by Hannah and it's also considered a main item of the game. So not just a, uh, a piece of law, but also a key item. And you'll get that prompt to come see her when you pick up the key off this desk just here. It's in the same room that we were just in for the last collectible. We want to exit out, so crouch to the gap again and go back to see Hannah. And she's also going to give us a solution to the puzzle, which has got a missable achievement associated to it. So we need to pay attention to the planter pots around the what room. Did you find out? The planter pots Those have got little plants. symbols on the front of them. And for us to be able to solve this puzzle, we need right to me. pick the plants the right from the, the corresponding plant, right plant well, pot with the is? symbol. So she's going to give us the I'm note just sure here. Can you take a look at it? Uh, and when you get the opportunity to look at it, cryptic, you'll see that we need to find the symbols. And we want to start with the symbols I'm at the sure bottom. So we want to find cool. the plants with the correlating pieces I'll just here. We then want to blend those two plants together to make one concoction and a couple of times over. So if you follow along what I do here, this machine is what we're going to use to do that. From that machine, take a left and make our way down to the very end. And little plant support in the corner with the triangle that looks like it has its hands in the air. We want to pick the plant that is just here. And then from that plant, we're going to backtrack into the room at the back. And this will be the last time we go out here. So head out to the right, make your way through and then enter the building just again. I'm going to get one of the crystallized plants this time which is on the table at the back just here. It looks more like a skeleton than an actual plant. Now that you've picked that up, we want to backtrack into the main greenhouse again. And we're going to do a spot of blending work. So I do it this way because that way I can't make a mistake and make uh, mulch, which is what we need to avoid doing. So head over to the machine 
and you're going to want to pick the purple plant at the bottom so the glowing plant and then the crystalline plant want to be mixed together and that is going to give you the glowing crystal powder we now need to find the next two plants to progress this forward so just directly opposite the blending machine you're going to find this triangle shaped plant pot and it is the plant that is contained in this one that we're going to need from that plant pot we want to exit out of the building on the outside in the corner just here is the symbol looks like a little bit of a hamburger we're going to pick up the toxic dripping plant make our way back in and then go back to the vending machine and we're going to want to blend together those two plants that we just picked so the toxic plant and the odorous one and we're going to get a corrosive mixture and then we want to blend the glowing crystal powder and the uh, mixture together so we can do that and we need to use the machine on the left to do so so put both of them in and that's going to give you the plant dissolving solution now we can't solve the puzzle just yet we need to go after some more collectibles so from the plant machine we're going to make our way out of the greenhouse and we're going to open up the door that is on the opposite side that was previously locked and as we come into this room just here on the right hand side you're going to find a collectible on the desk and then from that collectible we're going to make our way out the door on the right hand side it's next to the fireplace uh, and we're going to go into a barn and it, we're going to enter some gloom in the process we just want to zip through here quickly so that um, we don't get attacked as you come out on the other side you want to take a left and keep on the left and we're going to make our way into the back area of this it and we want to open up the door just here and we're going to find another piece of law from here we're going to need to then exit out of this area and we're going to go into one of the small huts and we're going to grab another piece of law as well as the last piece is required for the plant puzzle so we want to enter this building here but we're going to go around the back to get inside and as you make your way around the back there is going to be a broken window hop through and then on the left hand side so as you come around you're going to find a locked cabinet underneath the fallen locker pick that up and you have got your next collectible we're at 60 out of 71 we're getting there not long left now hang in there uh, and you want to pick up the valve that is just next to that piece so now that you've got this one we're going to go about returning back to where we kick-started the plant puzzle so turn around from here and then we're going to take a right and then a right again and we want to make our way out of the gate to the left and then to the right and then we want to go into the barn that we previously came through and as you go through here we're going to take a right and we're going to go through the door and through the next door and then take a left and exit out of the building so two lefts from here take a right and then we're going to go straight into the greenhouse in front of us and as you come into the greenhouse and make our way to the very end you're going to go back across to the machine we used earlier you'll need to plug in the valve onto the left part of the machine and then on the right part of the machine you need to use the red liquid the same parts of the machine that you use to blend the pieces together I'm not sure how that works but um, once the chemicals poured in we want to give that a quick spin uh, and after a little bit of dialogue with Hannah you should pop yourself the achievement um, if you've made mulch unfortunately you won't get the achievement because the goal is to get it right on the first try you would need to restart this chapter for that to work more effectively so stick with Hannah same as everyone I think Tyler taught yoga and he used that to get inside her head did he do that to a lot of people he's pretty good at it there's probably another 50 or 100 people who think he's amazing. He didn't invite them all to the retreat, though. That's only for the inner circle. Those who were truly ready. Truly ready to be taken advantage of, more like. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. No, it's okay. It's true. We were all so eager to be included. So shortly after this, you're going to hit a point where you and Hannah get separated and you can't progress forward. Uh, but you need to enter the building that is kind of nearby so on the right hand side you're going to briefly dart through some gloom 
but as you make it out of the other side straight in front of you on the whiteboard you are going to find the next collectible and then from that collectible we will want to go after our next which is obvious uh, but turn around and to the left of the project screen enter this area and we want to navigate our way through there is a ladder at the back of this room make your way up and then as you come into this area you want to take a left and then you'll want to follow it around and the collectible is just on top of a box and we're going to grab our next missable achievement so we're going to need to cross these rafters without falling down uh, the achievement for me on this doesn't pop but make it over the first one and then we want to go to the far left and then we want to go to the far right and then we want to go to the far left again once you get to the other side and you get to the bottom of the ladder the achievement will pop for me it was a very delayed pop and did not appear on my screen so after much more progression you're going to reach this room with a red orb that is speaking to you to the right of that orb you want to make your way to the right and you're going to find your last projector reel by the lampshade on the desk if you've been following along that is projector reel number 10 out of 10 so you are going to bag yourself an achievement at this point in time and then from that projector reel we are going to go after another piece of law uh, it's pretty much law from here on out so exit out the door that you would need to go through for a story progression but stay on the left and we're going to enter this secret little room back here uh, and grab the piece of law that is on the side just next to the sofa eventually you're going to be outside and you're going to see this kind of green smog in front of you uh, and we're going to go to the right and buy some of the workbenches at the back we are going to find a open cabinet or cabinet we need to open and you're going to find your next collectible inside just after that we're going to be entering this green gas just here so we want to make our way in and we're going to go to the right around the tent just ignore the enemies as best you can keep going around and as you get to the back area there's going to be a cabinet which you can open inside that cabinet you'll be able to pick up your next collectible now after a bit more progression you're going to find Hannah sat on the floor outside you'll want to go through to the left and we're going to go into the purple tent so open this one up as you come into this area you want to take a right and squeeze through the gap and as we go around stay on the left hand side cross straight over take a left and then we're going to find the collectible on the back table and then after a bit more progression so you'd have completed this area and picked up the orb so this is the tent we were just previously in we want to make our way towards the next kind of area and as you come through this bit you're going to see a gaping hole in the fence just on the right hand side duck under that hole and you're going to enter uh, well you're going to crawl uh, but there's a bunch of burnt out bodies here that's how you know you're in the right place take a right and go through the door and we're going to enter the door on the left hand side now, there's some very well camouflaged doors but one of them on the right hand side if you open it up it's the second one in has your next piece of law okay so we've got three left to go and we're now in chapter six you'll have just escaped your busy bee friend uh, and we're going to be in the safe space which is a corridor you can creep through so as you're making your way along the corridor you are going to find one of your remaining collectibles one of the three on the floor on the right hand side just before the gloom just shortly after that you'll actually eventually come across this main building uh, that is at the top you have to enter it to get the key that you're looking for so enter this room and then on the left hand side you're going to see a photograph next to that photograph is your next piece of law and finally we're going to go after our 61st pickup for the law pieces so just after completing this cabin we are going to enter this gloom just in front of us and we're going to go off to the right when the track gives us the option to do so so push forward and you can tell it's the right way because it looks a little bit foggy so you'll come up across it it goes up the slope just here and at the top of this here you're going to find a bench with a lockbox next to it pop the lockbox open and you're going to find your final piece of lore of the game i've been just given the achievement squad if you find this guide useful drop us a like comment subscribe and happy hunting